Hi everyone, it's Pretty Raichura here, multi-award winning luxury wedding planner and it's, yes, Thursday evening and every Thursday evening you know that we have been speaking to some very special guests here on uh, Facebook Live and YouTube and of course it's shared right across lots of different platforms um, on social media. Um, today we have an award winning uh, makeup artist that's going to be joining us very shortly her name is Manisha Monica Champaneri, uh, a very well-known makeup artist, and she will be doing a very short masterclass on how to apply your makeup and still look glam. So for all you girls out there that like to dress up on a regular basis, maybe even just do your makeup uh, to go to the office or you know go to a party, she's going to give you some tips. But this is especially for all you brides. So let's try and see if we can add uh, Manisha on. Um, here we go, here we go. Hi Manisha, how are you? Hi, hello, hello. I'm good, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. You know what, I could have really done with you coming to sort my hair out. I'm having a really bad hair day. I've been out in the rain today when I went for my walk and this, this is what, you know, this is what's happened. What happens? <laughs> But uh, Manisha, a very warm uh, welcome to you on um, our platform here tonight. Thank you for joining Thank me here. For having uh, me. We have lots of people joining us uh, live via Facebook, um, YouTube, and on LinkedIn as well. Um, and I know lots of people normally share uh, these posts widely as well. So thank you once again for joining me here tonight. Uh, Manisha, I know bits about you. But for all those people that are joining us here tonight, tell me a little bit about yourself and how wonderful you are and all your athletes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I'm Manita Champaneri. I've been a makeup artist for 12 years now. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't my primary job um, when I originally started. I was actually a IT service management consultant. Okay. Um, so I did my degree, I did my masters, and I was in. I was a consultant for six and a half years, mm -hmm. and but my passion's always been with makeup um, from a very very young age, and um, I felt I got to a point in my life where I felt that my job wasn't family friendly, so to speak. So I went sure. to children, I settled down, and the job was very demanding a lot of traveling a lot of away from home so i needed to i wanted to look at something that one that i was passionate about mm -hmm. but most importantly pay the bills <laughs> absolutely absolutely so did you retrain to become a, uh, a makeup artist from uh, having a degree in it very different and then... very different yeah, yeah very different i um i worked so I did makeup as a hobby and I was one of the lucky ones because I got headhunted by mm -hmm. MAC Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, I'm talking 11 years ago. Wow. Um, they saw some of my work, basically approached me. Back then, that's when MAC used to look for artists um, and offered me a position and mm -hmm. took it and then everything else was history. Then I began my journey as a makeup artist mm -hmm. and I worked for um, the brand, but as well as building my own business up as well. Sure. And then three years ago, I made the decision to leave Mac and go on building the business full time. And before I did that, actually, I was... I managed to get four four awards under my belt. Wow. So I just thought, well, if I can achieve this doing it part-time, what can I achieve doing it full-time? Mm. So then I made the jump. And, yeah, three years later, we were in the business, and it's my full-time job. And I absolutely Amazing. love it. Mm. Well, <laughs> I, know, I, I certainly know you're really passionate about it because our paths have crossed on a number of occasions when I've been the uh, wedding planner and we've had you as the makeup artist and we've, it's always been very nice because I'm sure that um, you know brides need to feel totally comfortable and there's always there's two three people actually that they need to feel comfortable with and that is the makeup artist because she wants to look her very best obviously yeah. the wedding planner because you've got 
best friends and you're planning that whole wedding. And the photographer, because she can't be shy her photographer, because the photographer gets her to do all kinds of intimate things, <laughs> as you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> so those three people, she's got to have a real rapport with. And I know when we met, like, you know, this is probably going back about five or six years ago, we had that instant rapport as well. And, and yeah. since then, we've been... <laughs> And, you know, kind of working on many weddings together, and it's a, a pleasure having you here on this platform. But also, you know, seeing you at all kinds of like national and international um, award ceremonies where we've both been uh, present. Um, so it's always nice to be working with working with individuals you. that know what they're doing because we're all there to make it work for our clients, yes, to make it work for the bride and groom. Right? So. I think that's really, really important. So thank you for um, joining us. Uh, I've got a couple of people. I've got Badna saying hi. Now. I've got Nita saying hi there. We've got Tisha saying two strong women in the same court. We love to see it. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> for joining <laughs> us. Uh, do keep your messages coming through if you have any messages for, uh, for um, Manisha or if you want any advice at all. Now, Manisha, it's a very unfortunate time for everybody that's in the wedding industry. As you know, the government have made the announcement where they, you can't have more than 30 people attend your wedding. And even then, you've got to have the social distancing measures in place, which is absolutely fine because safety comes first. But there's still quite a lot of brides that are still going to be getting married this year. They've totally downsized. On their wedding now for those brides it's quite unfortunate that they can't have a makeup artist because you know we're not allowed to be near each other you're going to do as a demonstration for all those lovely brides that are still getting married over the next few weeks months or whatever for bike you know for any time this year um until the measures are are lifted um but you're going to give us a, a master class but some of those brides we also know are celebrating next year um and they'll probably want you to be there as their makeup artist. <laughs> so in terms of um some of the advice i know when we first spoke you said that you were only going to be using six different products um that you can apply and still look glamorous. so tell me more about what you're going to be doing for those, definitely those so i'm a i'm a great believer of um the skin is your main asset if, with makeup, um, you know, there's always been that mistake where people have used makeup to mask imperfections, which again, that is what it was um, invented to do. But over the time, we've now, um, there's so many products out there that just makes the skin heal itself, get rid of imperfection, just prepare the skin for whether it's day to day or it's a special occasion. Um, mm -hmm. So with I always believe that less is more. So mm -hmm. if you, I mean, Vicky, when you met me six, seven years ago, you wouldn't have seen me without makeup. No. And now I'm here on a live with you with nothing on. You've got no makeup yeah, on. Wow. You've got no makeup on right now. Nothing at all. Nothing. So nothing on my skin. Um, I've kept it very plain just because I wanted to show, show everybody that less mm -hmm. is more. And mm -hmm. it is all about using the right product. Sure. A makeup artist, yeah, we do carry large kits. We do carry very heavy kits. But to be honest, I mean, I'm one. I, I probably use 5% of my makeup kit. I can, I lug it around, don't get me wrong. But it's only 5% yeah. of that makeup kit I actually use. The rest of it is just there just in case. Yeah. Um, but again, when even when we go um, on holiday, I could literally fit my makeup in my pocket. And even mm. my husband would say, is that what you're taking? And I'm like, mm. yeah. But at the same time, with that handful of products, I could create 10 to 15 different looks. So it's just wow. understanding how to use certain products and to really get the best out of um, the look. So you can, the same product. So I, never, I don't believe in having a makeup bag for a special occasion, a makeup bag for day-to-day -day or a makeup bag because that does get very costly and quite yeah, you know yeah. and a lot to maintain as well because again Absolutely. with makeup anything that's liquid based only has a 24 month expiry so once you hit what from opening 24 mm -hmm. months you have it irrelevant whether you've used that product you need to dispose 
because bacteria grows on any form of wet product. So if the bacteria grows on any of those wet products, does it damage your skin as well? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, and some people notice this with things like not cleaning their makeup brushes um, frequently. So I always recommend cleaning your makeup brushes at least once, because if it's only you using them, at least once a week. Because again, you have dead product in the yeah. in the brush, so you're continually popping it back on the face, which yeah. then you start to get things like um, pimples, spots, even rashes, and it's just purely from dirty makeup being mixed with clean makeup and popping it on the face. Mm. Um, so again, bacteria grows in any form of wet. So mm. things like foundation, lipsticks, concealers, all of them, even mm. eyeliners, it's a cream base. So mm -hmm. anything that's a form of wetness will or hold some form of moisture in the product will, will carry some form of bacteria. Whereas yeah. powders, mm such as yeah. eyeshadows, pressed powders, blushes, powders do not carry bacteria. Okay. So you could have you could have an eyeshadow palette that's a couple of years old and it's mm. absolutely fine. Um, but the only thing, if you do pull out a old eyeshadow palette, I'd always recommend taking the palette, getting a um, tissue and just rubbing the layer over and then going in and using and the product. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Now your skin looks absolutely wonderful and you said that it's Thank really, you. <laughs> you said it's really important to make sure you prepare your skin before your wedding day. So how would how would brides go about doing that? Um, you know, because like I said, you know, you're really glowing and you've got no makeup on at yeah. all. <laughs> you. You've obviously got some skin regime uh that other brides and not just brides but anybody else that's also joining us but just yeah. wants good quality skin what advice can you give to them so for the past three years i've been using a specific brand mm -hmm. um which you can buy off my website and um, i also consult all my brides and non-bridal clients if i feel they need some help with their skincare um, I would advise them on what products to use. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference between the products that I advise and the products that you can buy off the shelf is my products don't have stabilizers in them. So products that you got purchased from, say, whether it's boots, super drugs, by law, for a skincare product to be on the shelf, it has to have a um, expiry well, it has to have a stability of minimum seven years. Oh, wow. So you could, so in hindsight, you could be buying a product um, from a brand and that product could have been made about two to three years ago. Okay. Hence why it comes sealed. As soon as you break that seal, that's when you have the 24 months to use the product. Now, with a lot of skincare products, they always say, you will notice a difference after six to eight weeks of using the product. Mm. That's because the stabilizers in the product slow down the process on the right. skin. Yeah. So your skin needs to use that six to eight weeks to get used to the product in order for it to start to show a difference. Yeah. Now the products that I sell, um, you won't find them on the shelves purely okay. because their uh, use by dates is one year. No so way. the products that are that are you when you order them, they are made probably about four or five days beforehand in the warehouse. Oh, okay. So when okay. you use the product, you mm. see a difference in the skin within four to five days. Really? That's amazing. Literally. I, and with me, I'm a I'm a hoarder for skincare now. I think again with my age as well, I've always felt as I've got older my skin is my, my asset and I need it to look amazing. And additionally, yeah. when you're working with brides at mm -hmm. three, four o'clock in the morning, the last yeah. thing I want to do is get up, do a full face of makeup and then make my way to the bride. I yeah. want to turn up with nice, clean, fresh skin, but still yeah. feel comfortable in myself, but I still yeah. look presentable, even yeah. though I might not be wearing anything. Of course, <laughs> of course. No, that's, that's really good to know. So, does that mean that if anybody wants any of those skincare products that you're using, anybody maybe even watching today, if they want any of those products, they you would have them made and like five days before and they can then come and pick them up from you or they can be parceled out? Because of because of COVID, um, mm -hmm. we're doing free delivery up till August. 
Oh, so okay. They've introduced free delivery, so there'll be no additional um, delivery charges just because with the interaction because we can't meet up and things like that so I'm, I've been doing a lot of consultations over the phone so okay. I've been asking key questions to all the clients give me an idea of what this what's going on with their skin what are they currently using but mm -hmm. also where they want to be with their skin so what yeah. Yeah. is their perfect skin and sure. if I had a magic wand mm -hmm. what would what what would your skin be yeah and then I would then put together a regime to then give them wow that's amazing i'm definitely going to be coming to you <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's obviously really important for uh brides to have that you know good quality skin how much in advance should they be looking i mean i guess it becomes a part of your everyday lifestyle after you make sure that your skin is well you know if, if you've been through it like six months before you know your wedding I guess it's really important to maintain that even afterwards. How, Definitely. how fast, um, should they be? I mean, I would say, I'd, I'd say the more time, the better. Mm -hmm. I've turned a bride's skin around in one month. Really? In wow. one month. Um, she was a, a bride that had booked me two years in advance. Mm -hmm. And wow. um, she didn't actually have her trial till... Okay a month before her actual wedding because she there's just that trust element yeah um, and to be fair she only had the trial because i pushed for it <laughs> otherwise mm -hmm. she would have been happy for me to do it on the day oh um, um, when yeah. she came to me for the trial it was mm -hmm. alarm bells because her skin was dehydrated it was oh. dry it was rough and even though we did the trial i and she was you know over the moon with the trial i wasn't mm -hmm. Right. And I literally said to her, I love how you look, but we can do better. Yeah. And now this is what I want you to do. So I made her promise me that for <laughs> the four weeks, <laughs> she would yeah. use um, the products that I had advised. Yeah. And on her wedding day, oh yeah. my God, even she was shocked. She was like, I can't believe how amazing the skin, her skin had really? just become. Amazing. And from the trial to the actual wedding day, mm. the makeup application had actually halved because oh. I didn't have to use as many layers to conceal yes. imperfections because mm. the skincare products had done it for me. Oh, and oh. even to this day, I will still use her as an example when mm. I speak to brides to say, yeah. this is what your trial looks like when you've got bad skin, but this, yeah. is, how your trial, this is what you look like on your wedding day sure. if you get your skin on point it's just yeah. i always believe skin with makeup is very similar to um wearing an amazing dress but wearing the wrong Ooh. underwear yeah the two mm -hmm. are exactly the same you know you yeah. can have yeah. the most perfect makeup but if the skin's not prepared underneath that yeah. makeup's not going to look as great and again you, you know with photography with the hd mm -hmm. cameras don't lie <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and also you know i've seen i've seen how you know uh you've applied the makeup to brides and how how the brides look in their picture and actually they look amazing and they look very natural and that's what i love i think that's really important that brides need to feel comfortable in their own skin and as it is for the whole the whole beauty to come out in terms of like you know, the heavy lengas the dresses that's what's going on you don't you want that look to you look. want that balance you want yeah. that balance. you want the so balance everything yeah. is balanced and yeah. and you want her to look you just want her to look that herself mm -hmm. a polished yeah. self yeah more yeah. polished but still Absolutely. like you said still comfortable and plus when the groom sees her, he recognises her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm marrying the right woman, absolutely. Yeah. You don't want him to be in shock. <laughs> exactly, and then I always I always say to the bride, I mean, don't get me wrong, if my bride wants a tr transformation makeup, I will give her transformation makeup. Sure. But at the same time, you know, when when a bride gets married, the on the boy's side, in that wedding, you know, when, when we were allowed to do big weddings, yeah half the guests are seeing her for the first time yeah you want yeah. them to recognize her you know sure. a year down the line not look at her and think wow you look different on your wedding day 
yeah. And it's just making like just just making sure that everybody's comfortable and mm-hmm. yeah. So that's and I guess the other thing as well that when when um, a bride has all the pre-wedding events as well and she wants each look to look very different. That too is all down to hair and makeup, isn't it? Because yes. of course you've got the outfit, you can have smoky eyes, you can have very light lipstick, you can have, you know, I don't know all the different <laughs> terms, but... But even different hairs, have, everything. Everything yeah. is very, you know, and you can create different looks where she looks totally different for her civil to her Monday night to on the wedding day itself. Yeah, and that they are my favorite brides. When a bride books me for more than two events, yeah. I love it because it becomes yeah. a challenge for me. Of course, I want I want each look to be absolutely perfection and immaculate, yeah. still looking like themselves. But mm. when the album's put together, it doesn't look like she's just changed outfits. Yeah, it yeah. looks like wow, this is how she looked on her civil. This is how she looked on her Mendy. And I absolutely love that because I think, wow, I've got one canvas, but I've got to create five different looks. And yes. it's, it's mind-blowing. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they, they're the kind of challenges I absolutely love. That's, that's <laughs> good to know. That's good to know. So you're going to show us a little bit of magic. It's like you've got your magic wand, which is like your makeup brush. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's your magic wand. So talk me through what you're going to be doing tonight. And what, what kind of look you're going to be creating and what products you're using. And for all okay. those people that are also tuned in can maybe learn some stuff. I'm certainly going to watch carefully now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to begin with <coughs> skincare. So I'm going to use a serum. So these again, the skincare is from the range that I cover. Okay. So my, the serum I'm going to pop on. So with serums, they go within the skin. So they mm-hmm. heal the skin from underneath. Our skin is made up of three la- well, five layers, but the top three are the layers that we can actually have control of changing. Okay. Um, so things like if we have fine lines, if we have pigmentation, um, dull skin, we mm. have control of t- changing that around. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use one. It's a brightening serum. Okay. So very, very light product. So mm-hmm. I'm just going to take in my about two drops oh okay so how long would that last then how long would the bottle of that this bottle would last you about three months okay you use it every day three right. months um, and night and day so let you rub the product in the hand and mm-hmm. just pop it onto the skin okay so i always like to put it over my lips as well mm-hmm. so i always feel that with, with the fine lines not fine lines but the the where the um, connection between the lip and the skin is yeah. nice to really look after that area as well. Yeah, there's no creases. You don't want there to be any creases. No, nothing. So yeah. it's all it's all dried. So it's all mm-hmm. disappeared into the skin. Now I'm going to use a product called Sunday. So okay. this product's brilliant because it's got SPF 50. So mm-hmm. one thing about SPF, even when we've got no sun, so like yeah. the the gloomy days we've been having you yeah. still need to protect your skin mm. um because when you don't use spf this is where you can get things like pigmentation on the skin and mm. um, fine lines dehydration as well because mm-hmm. the sun is kind of just bouncing off your skin and there's no protection so it's your skin's absorbing that heat oh. um so with this one it's mm-hmm. an spf 50 but also it works as a um makeup primer as well and oh. a moisturizer so three oh. products in one wow so again just taking like a pea size oh okay that's a very little not thing. that much yeah not that much the and is that something you, you would use day and night day more more day okay you wouldn't need to use it, need to use it at night time because you, you're going to be indoors yeah, um, yeah but yeah day day and night is absolutely fine mm. if you wish to but yeah. when you when you use SPF on a daily basis, yeah. your skin then has a residue of SPF in the skin always. Yeah. So you'll find when you go on holiday, you won't tan as easily as others because you have that thin layer of SPF always within the skin. Right. Yeah. So I've popped that on. Okay. So now I'm going to use a mineral powder. Okay. So literally just a loose mineral powder with a fluffy brush. 
Okay. So the mineral powder is also by the same range. Now, the reason mm -hmm. why I've chosen mineral powder, because anything that's mineral based has mm -hmm. biominerals in them. So okay. when you pop it on the skin, it carries on putting vitamins into the skin. So as well as making you look flawless, it's also helping the skin. Okay. So taking my brush, literally just going to touch, so I've literally dropped it in the lid. Uh-huh. And then I will just dab it like that and then just rub. Wow. And sorry, did you say that's loose powder? Loose that's powder. Loose mineral powder. Yeah, so it comes in a pot. Yeah. Like so. Okay. And you literally just dab your brush yeah. in. So I've noticed you've not put any foundation on. You don't need that. Uh, no, but if you look at my skin, can you see how yeah. already the coverage? Like look at my yeah. forehead. It looks amazing. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you don't even need foundation. Well, wow. I mean, that is amazing. So literally, so I'm turning my head, looking in the mirror. <laughs> so literally, the brush is doing all the work for me. And yeah. because I've just used a wet product, yeah, it's kind it's of making the powder um, more of a cream, right? Because that's still yeah. sitting on the skin. So when yeah. the powder goes on, it's like mm -hmm. you're creating your own formula. Okay, okay. So you can already see. I'm in total. That even, yeah, that even it's, it's yeah. Amazing. No concealer and no foundation. This is just powder. Just powder so far, yeah. And wow. because the brush is so nice and soft, you can really. Just get it in, in all areas. Yeah. So you really just create a bare canvas. Yeah. No, you know, in terms of brushes, because you just spoke about brushes. What's the importance of having, because you get all types of brushes, don't you? You get really expensive brushes and you get really cheap brushes. Yeah. How important is it to have a good brush? Brushes are a good asset in the makeup kit. Right. Yeah, they are. They can be expensive, but they're a one-off. Mm. They're not something you're always going to, you know, every time you buy a new foundation, you need to buy a new brush. Brushes yeah. tend to last. If you look after a brush, your brush will last you about five years. Wow, okay. So, and again, it's making sure you get the right brush as well. There's so many brushes out there on the market that yeah. you, know, you can pick up for three, four pounds. Yeah. And then you've got the brushes that are 30, 40 pounds. Sure. I'm not, I'm not a big, I, I'm not one to go for the most expensive. Mm -hmm. I go for quality, so mm -hmm. I will always really look at the brushes, feel it on the on my hand, feel yeah. it with the product to see. Mm -hmm. Well, is it does it is it going to help? Yeah. Um, this one is a it's a kebab uh, kabuki kabubi oh. okay. <laughs> brush. Uh, weird name, yeah. but it's designed in such a way that it's really soft. Mm -hmm. But because you're working with loose powder. Yes. Sometimes when you pick up loose powder and you go to put it on your face, you end, it ends up all over your clothes. Yes, that's right. With these kind of brushes, it grabs the powder. Okay. So when you tap it in and you put it straight on the face, it's yes. literally as if it's injected into here and onto yes. here. So you right. need less mess okay. and again and less wastage as well. Yeah. So okay. I'd always say when you're looking at things like um, loose powders, go for something like mm. this. Okay. The okay. next thing I'm going to do is pick up a beauty blender. Oh, yes, I've seen one. <laughs> and I'm just going to use a light powder. So, really, just. Is that a pink? Pardon? Is that a pink? It's like a, it's like a oh, pinky. Yeah. This one. Pink. It's, a matte, it's matte, but it's like a very pinky, very nudie tone. So, right. taking my sponge, and I'm yeah. literally going to pop it under my eyes wow. now can you see how yeah it's totally lifted those that, that eye up I mean, you've only had to look at that. both my eyes yeah that's with and that's without yeah, yeah. And you can already see yeah. and i've got no concealer on so it's yes. already popped absolutely it, and then again on the other side and i'm just dabbing and again it's a powder it's dry product yeah yeah and then i'm going to pop it down my nose mm. my and again my lip. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. No foundation, just a bit of loose powder, and now you're just dabbing some. So is that is that um, a contour kit that you've got there? Is that what that is? So this one is a contour kit. It's by um, NYX. Okay. Because here I have used it so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but 
they're they're very handy very mm. handy that you can do so much with them and the reason why i tend to go for something that's like this because again with the darker tones you can use them as eyeshadows right of course so if you just grab a fluffy brush into yeah. the one and pop it over the eye that's it so oh, again yeah. with one palette you're mm. doing your face and your eyes so it's yeah. brilliant of course and you just said nyx and nyx products aren't very expensive so you're not having to spend a bomb on no. Um, the street brand. Yeah, no, I'm not sure of the cost of this, but I don't think it's more than twenty five pound. Yes, and you've yeah. got eight colours. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and they last the next, a long time. Yeah, last. It, this, yeah. to be fair, this palette is five years old. Oh really? Yeah, and wow. you can see how, like, it's still going. <laughs> I, can see, I can see you've used some of your favourite colours there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. we're going to introduce these two now. Okay. So what's so these, that? Is that? So uh, these are bronzing powders. So okay. these are actually, because I ran out of these, I bought bronzing powders. Okay. Um, so very similar colours that were in here. But the reason why I bought these, mm -hmm. uh, again, it's the same company as the products that I sell. Okay. And it's all mineral-based. So again, oh. with the mineral-based, it's yeah. creating that, um natural flawless look but at the same time still looking after the skin so okay. taking a powder brush mm -hmm. you're going to literally take the bottom part and start running it okay. are you not going to pull funny faces while you're doing that or you don't need to do that <laughs> uh, what my fish face so normally I'm like, what? yeah <laughs> there we go so i'm taking the darker oh. color and i'm mm -hmm. popping it Focusing it here. Yeah. Mainly. That's just totally lifted your cheekbones. And again, that's purely, again, because of the whiteness under my eyes. Yeah. Wow. So I'm manipulating colours to make it change. Yeah. I'm then going to take the tone above it, which is very, very slightly lighter. Yes. And I'm going to take that around my forehead. Okay. And then again here as well. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to run it back over the first colour that I did. Because what I'm doing is I'm using that colour to blend mm -hmm. the dark colour. I don't know if you've ever noticed that when you're out and about, you see some girls with quite dark lines on their faces. Yeah. Yes. Um, so and again, that's usually caused because from not blending. Right. But one trick is to always have a, a bronzer that's slightly lighter. Right. And that way you use that as your blending colour. Okay. So again, you can see how it's, it's just yeah yeah and then i take always remember to do your neckline yes so then when your head straight you've got that nice um sculpted face oh, and yeah. i've got a very very wide nose <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i'm going to take the same product yeah and i'm going to look close my eyes and run it very quickly up and down the side of my nose mm -hmm. And then the end. So now, can you see how? Yeah, it looks very natural. Yeah, it does look amazing. Absolutely amazing. So already, I've changed the shape of my face. Yes, you have. <laughs> and totally, we thought. I mean, I can't believe just. And I think what well, we've only used three products so far. Yeah. So so far, I've used the loose powder, the lighter matte powder from this palette. Yeah. And then. A bronzer wow amazing that is and that's amazing. it and then the next wow. product so now i'm happy with how the face looks yeah i'm now going to introduce brows okay so again as you can see my brows are there but they're not there yeah, I yeah. Kind of feel like it, they kind of disappeared a bit because again the face is the face there has all been bought out but the eyebrows mm. are kind of like look a bit lost. sure yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. take a brush like this, mm -hmm. this angled brush. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and I'm going to literally groom my brows up to begin. I always groom them up mm -hmm. because brows I like to see the arch here, okay, yeah. and then mm -hmm. create that shape that I need. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. taking a brow product gel product on the brush, 
And I'm going to slowly. So is that a powder base? This is um, cream. Oh, it's cream. Like it's, it's a gel base. Gel base. Um, and the reason why I use gel base is mm -hmm. one, it's waterproof. Yeah. Long wearing and smudge proof as well. So you can see oh, it's already. Smudge yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this brow and look at this brow. Yeah, absolutely. You can already yeah. see the difference. Lot more like definition. It's, just, it's like it's lifting. And yeah. that took me a few seconds. So all I did was take um, a line from here to here and then yeah. the top. And you've got that nice. It's amazing. Look. And then again, <laughs> to the second one. Mm -hmm. So again, just taking the product. Wow. And you can see I haven't got perfect eyebrows, but no, the, product makes, <laughs> the product makes it perfect. Yeah. So is there is there a technique to follow your the, the eyebrows? Yeah. Yeah. So I tend to so like I said, I take all the hair up yeah. so you can get a really nice clean you can see the actual line underneath. Yeah. Then with the brush itself, follow mm. it from the tip so, so the start yeah so see where my natural arch is which is yeah. there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i take the product and i just draw a line it's like um, dot to dot yeah and then yeah. from here yeah where i stop then bring it down down so. amazing and then i would take it on the top which is here but i won't start from the front because when you look at your brows naturally the hair at the front goes up yes so when you and when you if you take the product and then draw it from the beginning you end up getting that block yes so you lose yeah. that natural look so you still want yeah. to keep that nice feathered look so yeah. when you're on the top you take yeah. it from about here right okay and then take round. so i'll literally take it from here mm -hmm. and then connect it back up to the end and then you have wow nice Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thank oh, you. You can also see it. <laughs> and again, it's just literally mm -hmm. just minimal product. Don't yeah. need that much at all. Yeah. Um, and then if, if, if we're going to work, I'd be happy to go like oh, I'll probably yeah. pop a little bit of um, Vaseline or lip gloss on my lips just so it yeah. doesn't look so... Um, foundation lips <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. mascara mascara and eyeliner but again and then if i was looking to take this up a notch mm -hmm. take a whole eyeliner pencil. mine literally look how small it is oh, you obviously love that's that the one thing with makeup art that's the thing with makeup <laughs> artists is we'll have all the new stuff in our makeup kits but in our personal kits we're like scavengers <laughs> <laughs> yeah you just keep wow. using it you're like nope not getting no, rid of it no. that's amazing yeah <laughs> well, especially if you love it so much which you oh, clearly do <laughs> yeah so take the it's a black coal um yeah. eyeliner pencil and i'm just gonna run it just in my waterline okay like so so you can see already the difference oh wow yeah putting black in the eye yes and again on this side yeah wow like so there we go. Amazing. That is really amazing. And then, but, it, but also the trick that I've done throughout the whole makeup, I've given myself a facelift without realising. I've pushed everything up. So again, with the eyebrows, I've structured them. So I've kind of yeah. like done this to my face. Right. Even with the jawline, I've lifted it all up. Yeah. And again, just using minimal products and yeah. making sure that the products that are being used are uh, helping the skin not making it look cakey because again yes. it's still like if i came close to the camera you can still see my skin still looks really natural it does yeah it really does absolutely amazing um it looks amazing and the other thing i thank you so i'm going to take the bronzer mm -hmm. the one that we used on our i'm going to take a brush yeah I'm going to take the bronzer and I'm just going to rub it under my eye. So that's you under how this eyeliner. Yeah, just here. Yeah, yeah oh. just here. So again, just giving yourself a slight smoky look. Yeah, yeah. 
and because we've used that white powder underneath well not white pinky fair powder yeah. underneath it makes the under eye pop a little bit more because yeah. a lot of people get scared mm. of smudging under the eye because they feel that it's going to make them look like they've got panda eyes yes. because i've neutralized the area with a brighter powder yeah. anything that i put under my eyes if anything is going to pop a lot more yeah they're again yeah. taking the same brush mm -hmm. and i'm just going to rub it on my lash line at the top oh, here wow. yeah so i'm kind of giving myself a um a smoky eyeliner oh. and this trick's brilliant for those that don't have steady hands yeah okay the amount yeah. of time yeah you get I have so many clients that mm. really want to have that beautiful popping eye with the eye and what lets them down is the eye the steady hand and this is yeah. brilliant because yeah. to take a little bit of a dark powder yeah rub it on the actual mm. lash line wow. and there you go you've got nice you can see you've got that nice smoky look going on but it's not too much yes finish it off mascara so again just literally just and again with mascara there's so many different types again what how how would one know where to look for a good mascara there are do you know what i think the cheap ones are the best really, I really do. yeah i really do yeah. you know mm. when i used to work for mac um, we were quite lucky because every time a new mascara came out, we'd always get a complimentary oh, one right. to kind of like work with, play with, to see. Because yeah. again, with mascara, you can't share. Well, with yeah. all makeup, you should really share. Um, yeah, yeah. So they always used to give us a brand new one to have a go at. And, you know, I'd, I'd use them and they'd be fantastic in the morning. But by, by lunchtime, I feel I had dots under my eyes or... Sometimes, you know, when you blink and you feel your lashes are sticking oh, together. Oh, I know, they stick together, so, yes. There's so many different um, mishaps of mascara. Mm -hmm. um, so then I started using high street brands um, okay. like Maybelline. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. love it. Doesn't them. cost much at all, does it? Doesn't cost much. Mm -hmm. And it's brilliant when they've got the um, two, uh, the three for two offers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bob by everything. Yeah. And again, you can just, in that, you could pick up, you could actually pick up this palette yeah you can pick up a, an eyeliner and pick up a mascara so it's it's brilliant for things like that yeah um, especially when i'm because i teach as well so when i'm yeah. teaching i'll always say to my students keep an eye on things like this where mm. again it's money saving of course. and getting the perfect products yeah. and again i think i'd probably say five six years ago it was all about names Mm. You know, buying the expensive names, buying the prestige brands. But yes. as time's gone by, all makeup brands have to follow the same requirements for makeup. Yes. Um, they have they have tick boxes that they have to comply to. Mm. So whether you're paying, you know, five pounds for a mascara or twenty pounds for a mascara, yeah. they pretty much have to do the same thing. Right. Uh, okay. What it says in the box. So that's really good to know because yeah, it's just makes experiment. It a lot of money. And, yeah, uh, really experiment. And don't, I always say, don't mm. let the name put you off. I mean, yes. I absolutely love um, Primark lip liners. I've actually got one here. Oh, really? Okay. Absol they're a pound. Yes. I mean, I don't have them in my kit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are yes. in my personal, this is in my yes. personal bag. Yes. Um, but absolutely love them. Mm -hmm. Just because, yeah, they're a pound. They do what they say on the box, and it's you can see how how creamy they are. Wow, yeah, and the reviews for Primark makeup is that they're actually very good. Very they're good, good. very good. Yeah. yeah. In, in comparison, I mean, this color, to this color is um, this color is toffee. So hard wow. to get hold of. Always really? out of stock. Always out of stock. Amazing. It's the one color that every asian wants <laughs> because they're a pound because they're yeah. a pound people don't buy one they buy like six <laughs> yeah, yeah of so well they're just easy to put in your handbag put in your pocket take it around with you because everybody but likes even on a night out if you accidentally lose it doesn't matter you're not gonna, you're not gonna be obsessed about it yeah of course, um, of course. so it's, it's great for that kind of makeup but it really i find that when i do use these they do last on my lips. There's Did no they? need for uh, When it comes, sometimes when it comes to makeup, I'm very, um, makeup should only be done once. 
Mm. I'm not one of those girls that I would want to take when I go out. I'll do my makeup, and then when I go out, I have to carry my lipstick, my powders to do touch up. Because yeah. to me, it's well, if I haven't done it properly in the first place, yes, yeah, then yeah, this is why I'm doing. So I, I'm one that you'll never see me out with a bag full of makeup. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't want to either because you see it day in day out. I guess you don't want the makeup to be following you around. Exactly. When you're an expert uh, makeup artist like yourself, then of course you want to look glamorous, which of course you do every time I see you. Anyway. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I did it at the start of the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but what, what actually you did, because your skin, like what you mentioned right at the start, you know, is amazing. You were glowing at, at, at the very start, so that's amazing. <laughs> and you're glowing even more now. So is that now your complete look? Just yeah. to this and just to finish product. off, I'm just going to pop on the lip liner. Is that the Primark one that you said? Primark. Wow, oh, that's the Toffee Primark one. No, we're not getting any commission from Primark. <laughs> <laughs> and wow, look, that's just... really defining your lips. That is actually amazing. I love that colour and it goes really nice with your whole, uh, the rest of your makeup. The other, the other makeup hack that I always do is I have about, uh, in my personal kit, I probably have about six, seven different lip liner colours. Okay. But I'll only have one lip liner, uh, sorry, one lip colour. All right. So I'll go for something that's quite nude. But mm -hmm. I'll always use, so whether I use a red, and pop that on, or I used um, a dark brown and pop that on. I'm creating my own lipsticks. Of course. And then that way, you just it lip. You can have as many lip colors as you want. Of and course. Then again, taking yeah. the product. Mm. I'm done. Wow, it's such a shame here in Leicester. We're like still on the lockdown, otherwise I'd say, come on, Manisha, we're going out on a night out. <laughs> you can see already. Yeah. So Amazing. Again, so all the colours that I've used are very neutral tones. Yes. Um, and if I wanted to really go even more so, I'll just build on this. Yeah. I could yeah. even take um, my eyeliner pencil and then colour the top in. Mm -hmm. and then with my brush smudge it through and then take the bronzing powder and pop it on top and I've given myself a nice brown smoky eye yeah 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 yeah. Uh, and again it's it's just it's just yeah. learning how to use minimum products but creating yeah. the most beautiful yeah. looks beautiful look yeah 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 no absolutely I'm going to quickly go to some of the messages Let me try again. Uh oh, I think we've lost her. Let's try and see if she can come back. Could be a little bit of a network problem, but that was going quite well. Let me just quickly go to some of the uh, messages, and hopefully, in the meantime, Anisha will be back um, shortly. Ah, oh, she's, I think, yes, there we go. Add to stream, you're back. I thought I lost you. Like, oh my goodness. I was just going to go. <laughs> I was just going to go to some of the messages, but I, I don't know. It lost connection. I think I was. I think I. I went and then you went. But um, very quickly, we've got um, D saying you look very beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, thank you. She said, uh, "Love the look and learnt some um, great tips." So thank you very much for that. And yes, and this is all about learning new tips. Um, and as you know, you know what we started off with initially was. Some brides are still going ahead with their wedding this year, even though 
Um, you know, the government guidelines are, you know, they can't have no makeup done, you can't have no food, no drink, no nothing. So basically, you just got to quickly go in, have a quick wedding, and you're out. But um, I, I'm hoping that the tips that um, Anisha has, has given out tonight will help some of the brides that are having to do their own makeup because um, they're getting married in the next few weeks or months. Um, Priti Charan is saying, I personally uh, think lip liners last a lot longer. That's true, isn't it? They do. It's true. Lip liners have two jobs. One, to define your lips. Mm -hmm. But secondly, it stops the lipstick from bleeding as mm -hmm. well. And when we eat and drink, the food doesn't actually touch the lip liners. So right. even when the lips, the lipstick slightly wears off, the mm -hmm. lip liners still keep that look in place. And is it important to make sure that you get a lip liner that's quite moist, like quite yeah. you know, a lot of moisture, because it can dry your lips out as well. I know yeah. some people use a lip liner so they, as a base, as a base as well. Yeah. Should they be doing that? It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely okay. fine. Um, I tend to use lip liners as a base when I have clients that have um, pigmented lips, okay. where their lips tend to be slightly darker. Right. Um, because again, when your lips are slightly darker, you're very restricted to what mm -hmm. lipsticks you can wear, and mm -hmm. a lot of the clients will just automatically end up going for darker tones mm -hmm. just to kind of like complement the lips. But if you do have a darker toned lips, I'd always say purchase a lip liner that's slightly lighter than the lips, and like you said, use it as a full on color, and then put your lipstick of choice on top. So should should you be putting on some Vaseline, like you said? Sometimes you can put some Vaseline on, or you don't need no, to. Do no, 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 no. Okay. If anything, if you're going to put anything as a base, pop. Yeah. Um, so you know your, how you put your skincare products on? Put a thin yeah. layer on the lips. Um, okay. And then if you were to use, like, for example, how I've used powder, yeah. powder the lips. The oh, reason okay. why I say no to Vaseline on the lips and then putting lipstick on is then you will be prone to bleeding then the oh. lipstick is then going to move or wear off quicker. Right. And because okay. the whole point with lipstick, we want it to last longer. So, yeah, yeah I, would, I wouldn't put Vaseline as a base. Okay. okay. Uh, Pretty Sharon saying, love the makeup. Look, you, you, you did on me, Manisha. Oh, okay. So, you obviously, there's one of your customers that's bringing it. <laughs> Thank you. She, she loved what you did for her. So, that's really nice to know. Uh, Dee is uh, saying, um, yeah, she's, she's um, learned lots of tips today. We've also had uh, Kripali saying, uh, why haven't I been following you? Well, because I'm totally rubbish at, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do my own little thing in my own little room but to follow you. Because last week, you see, um, Manisha, I had, um, uh, uh, we had a, a mocktail masterclass and I was following him. So we were like making mocktails here, like you know, I was having fun, I was all that shaking. I, you know, it was all going all over the place, but it was good fun. Now I could have today tried to follow you, but I think I would have made myself look like a clown, which is why the advice is that of course you need an expert makeup artist like yourself <laughs> <laughs> for any grand event, whether it's a birthday party or whether it's a wedding. Um, you know, you've got to allow the, the experts to do the job. So there's no way I was going to follow you. But those tips that you've given out, I'm hoping if I can follow them for next week's broadcast, then let's That'd see. Be let's see. Let's see if people can see. Oh look, she's obviously been listening to some of the tips. Listen. I'm, I'm going to see. I'm going to see for sure. Um, oh, we've got um, Robin Piper teacher that's also joining us. Uh, we all know who Kevin Pankatech is because he's the one who does all the big wedding exhibitions that will be coming up very, very soon. We have Jasminder joining us from uh, Nottingham as well, who was on who was on our show a couple of weeks ago. And she's a celebrant from uh, Nottingham that uh, works works all over the place, actually. She does destination weddings as well. Mm. Um, Nikesh is saying, keep up the good work. Bhavna is saying, hi, Han, you look amazing. So thank you very much to everybody that's been uh, joining us live as well. Um, and yes, Prabhupada, you can tell me if next week if I try and follow some of the tips if, if they've actually worked. I'm just going to have a quick look at my phone to see if there's anybody that has messaged. And yes, we have got a message. We've got a message here from a, a, a bride-to-be who said, would it look too much if I, I love red lipstick, would it look too much if my outfit is red 
And if I wore red lipstick on my wedding day? No, not at all. With um, red lips, I think red lipsticks on brides are beautiful. Remember, yeah. there's with red, there's a good 15 to 20 different tones of red. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I'm um, for one, I used to, when somebody say red lipstick to me, I, I used to get scared. And I'm talking mm -hmm. about, you know, 20 years ago. But yeah. now there's so many different levels of red that you mm -hmm. can complement your outfit. I would probably, so when, when you look at the face, uh, a bridal face, so you have the red outfit, which yeah. is then broken um, with a, a bit of flesh. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. see the, oh, the skin. Yeah. Then you have your nice necklace, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Then it's broken again with the skin. Yeah. Then you have your red lip, yeah. again, broken with the skin. Yeah. Then you have beautiful eyes, so sure. broken with the skin, and then your jewelry. So can you see how it's kind of yeah. like nothing yeah. clashing? Because yeah. on the actual face, there's breakages to break yeah. away those blocks of color. So you have sure. color, nude, color, nude, color. So when mm. it comes to your outfits, mm. red lipstick and with the um, red outfit is absolutely stunning. Absolutely, yeah. So it's absolutely fine uh, for any other brides that may be watching that if you have got a red bridal outfit and you wanted that bright red lipstick, it's absolutely fine uh, because yeah. Manisha has just explained uh, how it can complement, if, uh, if anything else. Sono uh, is asking, hi, what foundation do you use? I missed the first bit. She didn't use any foundation. No <laughs> she foundation. Was so <laughs> no foundation at a all. Mineral based, a mineral-based loose powder. <laughs> That's all I've yeah. got on my skin. And oh. using it with my fluffy brush. Yeah. So and no concealer it. either. No concealer whatsoever. And, you know, she's managed to create... And I'm nearly 40. But... Sorry? And I'm nearly 40. And she's nearly 40 and she looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> you know, the fact that she's approaching the big four zero. Uh, Dean, you're saying, I use uh, cocoa butter as my primer. Is, is this okay as I have oily skin? Um, I like the dewy look or do you think I should use something else? Cocoa butter is great. Do you, um, anything that's oil based or mm -hmm. butter based, so to speak, um, make sure you use some protection just because when you use anything that's um, got that form of moist in there you're literally um, you're, you're not even replenishing the um, the sun so you're more likely to be prone to burning as well mm -hmm. so you may feel that where you use the cocoa butter that skin area may be slightly darker than other areas of your body yeah. um, if you have got oily skin I'd say cocoa butter wouldn't be my first choice to right. use um, just because your your skin's already releasing oils and then you're mixing another form of oil on top. You can still create that beautiful dewy look as um, whilst controlling the oil releases. I mean, I'm more than happy to um, get in contact with myself and then I can advise you properly on the appropriate skin products. Absolutely. Well, that kind of takes me to the end of our programme here tonight. So how can... Uh, people that have been watching and no doubt you know messages messages will carry on coming and Sonal of course you've asked what foundation has uh, Manisha used you can go back to the start of this program because uh, you know we are broadcasting live but it will be um, on some of the uh, on all in fact the social media platforms so just go back either on on uh, Facebook YouTube or of course on Insta in the next couple of days, and of course it's uh, being broadcast on LinkedIn as well. And for those of you that want information on uh, the, the, the beautiful Manisha, Manisha, where can people contact you? So you, you've got, um, if it's via email, it's info at manishamakeupartist.co.uk. You can follow me on Instagram, which is Manisha C underscore m-u-a so that's m-a-n-i-s-h-a-c underscore m-u-a my instagram is the most up to date so i literally post on there every single day updates and things like that um also if you want to follow um visit my website that's www.manishamakeupartist.co.uk brilliant well thank you so much 
Uh, no, so thank you for having me. <laughs> it's been a great pleasure and I can't wait to meet you in person when we're through this lockdown here in Leicester. For those of you that are joining us from outside of Leicester, you've probably seen everywhere in the news. Uh, yeah, because we're now, we're, we're kind of famous anyway. <laughs> but uh, we're not even more famous because uh, you know, Leicester is the highlight of the whole country considering that we're you know we're yeah we're, we're the naughty not, ones we're the naughty <laughs> ones yeah that are, are passing on not we're not but yeah the virus we're not, we're not. I, I don't know what's going on there okay, well, hopefully we'll be out of it very very soon but thank you so much for joining us and no doubt uh, manisha i'll see you very soon but also i think we'll do another master class with yourself maybe you know uh, over the next uh, few weeks again um just so that people can keep in tune with how to apply their makeup and help those brides that are having to apply makeup to themselves over the next few weeks, months, um, because they are still getting married. So thank you once again, Manisha, and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you for having me. Take care. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 So that, that uh, was uh, Manisha that was uh, joining us live with a wonderful masterclass um, here tonight. I will be back uh, with yet another guest next week. Um, same time, same place, 7.30 on a Thursday next week. Um, but again, you know, if you enjoyed that, do share it on your own social media platforms as well. It's very, I guess it's very um, disappointing to see that, you know, um, we, we're having to follow these guidelines um, that the government have set that, you know, you, of course, weddings can go ahead, but uh, we're very, uh, small amount of people which again you know I I understand the reasons why you know they health comes first the safety of people comes first um, but I do feel sorry for those brides that don't have uh, you know that that treat of of uh, of having a professional makeup artist to do their makeup on their very special day so I'm hoping that today's session has been very useful uh, for any brides out there that are deciding to get married uh, this year and hoping to, um, you know, get, have, have, have learned some tips from Manisha and that will be applying their makeup. But from me, Priti Raikshira, uh, luxury wedding planner, I will be back next week uh, with another guest here on the show. But until then, um, if you have any questions, do drop me a, a, a message. If I've had lots of people actually contacting me for destination weddings. And of course, yes, um, for destination weddings, um, it seems to be a safer bet at the moment. You can get married in the open and have, uh, you know, weddings for up to 100, 150, 200 people. Um, so we are working right across the globe and with lots of other countries in, in Europe as well. And we'll be having other destination wedding planners joining me here on this platform in the future as well. But from me, Pretty Rachel, good night. And I will be back um, again um, next week, next Thursday. Uh, but until then, um, I shall see you next week. Good night and God bless.